Okay, for this show, you know, the question is which box has the greater volume and explain your reasoning. Okay, so we're given an area for each of them and they're different. So we'll just break this down and calculate the volume for each individually. So the volume for box A, and I'll use the subscript for box A, is equal to the area of its base times its height. So the area of its base, we're told, is 24 centimeters squared. And its height then, if we're using this as its base, then the distance between its opposite faces is this seven centimeters. So 24 times seven is 168 centimeters squared times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So we have a volume of 168 centimeters cubed for box A. Let's take a look at volume for box B and I'll use the subscript of B to indicate the volume is for box B. So the area of its base times its height, make sure you write out the formula first, then you do substitution. The area of its base we're told is 56 centimeters squared times its height. So let's figure out which one the height is. If this face is the base, its opposite face is this one, and the distance between them in this case is three centimeters. And 56 times three is 168 centimeters squared times centimeters becomes centimeters cubed. Okay, so in this case, the area for both, or the volume for both boxes is the same. Um, so the volume for box A is the same as the volume for box B. B. They have different orientations, but their dimensions Are identical. So that's the explanation I've given. And that's the answer to the show you know.